Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. Another big exciting day in my kitchen. This is what we're doing today and this is where we're going. We're going to get on an airplane, we're going to land in Rome, we're going to rent some cars or take a train and we're going to go to Tuscany, Italy. Doesn't that sound fantastic? I mean, Tuscany is beautiful. It's, it's, it's a place just visually is breathtaking. The lighting in, in Tuscany is beautiful. The sun is beautiful and how it hits the hills. That's what's great. But what's also great about Tuscany is it's, uh, it's a place where you really live off the land, where the food that comes in is, is really truly from the land right, right to the plate. And it's, uh, it's a place where you're going to have some of the best food ever, ever in your life, let alone some of the best food in Italy. All right, so let's go over today's recipe. So today what we're going to do is we're going to get naked. And I don't mean our clothes, we're going to actually take pasta off. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a ravioli and we're going to get the ravioli naked. So, so if you think about it, what do you do with the ravioli? You take this delicious inside, whatever that's going to be, right? And you're going to wrap it in pasta. So in this case, what you're going to do is you're going to take this delicious inside, but you're not going to wrap it in pasta. You're going to eat it naked. Or in the Tuscan dialect, it's actually called a nudie. So today we're going to make naked raviolis or nudies. And they're fun and they're delicious and they're easy. And today we're going to make a spinach ricotta nudie. Number one, one of the main staples here, right, the, the big kahuna, the center stage, is going to be our spinach. So we're going to want a pound of cleaned spinach. Next, you're going to need ricotta cheese. So what I did here is I always like to drain my ricotta cheese. So sometimes it's a little extra wet and you don't want your nudie or, or whether you're making cannolis or whatever, you don't want them to be dripping with a lot of the water in the, in the ricotta cheese. So here we've got one pound of the ricotta cheese and you're going to drain it for about a half of an hour. We're going to need some other cheese. Obviously, king of all cheese, we're going to need oh, Parmigiano Reggiano. Okay, so what we're going to want here in our Parmesan cheese is about four to five ounces of cheese and we're going to grate that. You'll need two whole eggs and eggs are going to give you that that bonding power, right? So the eggs are going to give great flavor because there's fat and there's protein, but they're also going to allow everything to bind together and stay, stay intact when you cook it, when you boil it. We're going to make a sauce and we're going to want some sage. Oh, sage is, sage is so delicious. And sage goes so well with ricotta cheese. Figure like two or three leaves of a sage, fresh sage if you can. Yes, you're going to need some nutmeg. Oh, fresh ground if you can, you're going to need about an eighth of a teaspoon. Remember, a little nutmeg goes a long way. Now you're going to need some butter. So we're going to use some butter to cook the spinach and then some of that leftover butter along with some other butter we're going to use to make our sage butter sauce that we're going to roll the nudies in before we eat them. So we're going to need four tablespoons of butter. Separate the butter because you're going to add it at two different times. Now we want to brighten up our nudie a little bit. So what we're going to add is about a half of a lemon zest. I'm going to go with some fresh ground pepper, probably about a quarter to a half of a teaspoon. You're going to need some salt. I'm going to use Sicilian flaky sea salt. Another ingredient you're going to need that is just essential to not only Italian cooking, but Tuscan cooking is garlic. Because you're going to see so many of the ingredients in Tuscany are, are what we're going to call earthy, earthy foods, earthy herbs, earthy vegetables. So, mm, garlic. So you're going to need two cloves. Maybe if we want to get a little crazy today, we'll do three cloves of garlic, which will be added to the spinach. Last thing we're going to need is olive oil. So listen, anyone new to our channel, I own a farm in Italy and I actually co-op with a whole group of farms in the area to bring you some of the best, most delicious, authentic Italian virgin, which goes along well with our recipe today, Italian olive oil. I named the company after my two sons, Vito and Joe, and I'll tell you what, it's grassy, it's earthy, it's peppery. You're thinking, where do I get it? I'd be thinking the same thing. So just go on my Facebook page, Cooking Italian with Joe, or Instagram, or our webpage, Cooking Italian with Joe. Click buy it now, grab yourself a few bottles, and we'll literally drop ship it right to your front doorstep. And, and I say this every week, I think of it as, as taking a trip to Italy right in the bottle. Couple other quick tips. You're gonna need a large pan with a lid because we're gonna cook down the spinach. It makes it a lot easier if you have a lid, it'll cook a lot faster. You're gonna need a pot to boil the naked ravioli in, our nudies in. You're gonna need a plate to plate the nudies in. And you're gonna need some hungry family members. Or one, the cook. That'll work too. All right, so what do you say? Let's have some fun, let's get cooking. First thing we wanna work on is our garlic, guys. So real easy, you're gonna take your three cloves of garlic, give them a good crack, because we wanna peel them. We're gonna do something a little different in this sauce. Once you crack them, you're gonna peel them just like that. Oh, the aroma of garlic, so delicious. 
Now there's a couple different ways to do this. One of the ways I like to do it is just take the garlic now that it's peeled and I'm going to give it a really good split. I want to keep it in one piece, but you see how it's split? You can see how the oils are coming out. Why? Because we're going to actually remove the garlic from the sauce and what we want are the oils. We want the flavor from the garlic, not necessarily pieces of garlic. Next, we're going to go right to our pan, start adding our oil, butter, and we're going to start cooking that spinach. Next, guys, get over to the stove, start warming up your pan. Real easy, we're going to add some Vito and Joe's olive oil. Figure about two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of butter, pinch of salt, and a couple of pinches, a couple of grinds here of our pepper. Last, I'm going to add my garlic. Now, guys, give it a stir. And again, we're not necessarily trying to cook the garlic down. We're just trying to get the oils released from the garlic. Flavor that oil. I want to leave it whole because I want to make it easy to remove from our sauce. I'm going to let that warm up for a couple of minutes. Now I'm going to grab a bowl. I'm going to put my ricotta cheese. I'm going to put a pinch to two of salt. I'm going to put a good half a teaspoon of pepper. I'm going to put both of my eggs in. Zest of half of a lemon. And I want to get as many of these flavors in as I can because the longer those flavors are in with the ricotta cheese, it's going to make your naked ravioli a lot more aromatic and flavorful. Next we're going to add that eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg. I'm going to take this and give it a good stir. Don't worry, it's going to be a little wet right now, but we're going to tighten that up with our flour. And then we're going to let this set while we're cooking down that spinach. My garlic is starting to cook down. I turned the heat way down. It's just perfect. And now I'm going to add my spinach. Stuff's so fresh, it's jumping right out of the pan. Now it looks like there's a lot in there. There isn't. That's the sound I want to hear, by the way. And now, guys, ever so gentle, just give it a nice stir. And you're not going to get everything incorporated, but maybe half of it incorporated with the oil and the flavor and the garlic, and it'll cook down really quick. So we're looking at about five minutes here total. Now, guys, I'm going to take my lid. I'm going to put that lid right over the top and make it tight. We're going to go about three minutes with the lid on. So while my spinach is cooking now, I'm going to go ahead and add those whole four ounces of cheese. So I'm going to give that a good stir. See how it's starting to tighten up already? Now set that aside room temp. Now let's check on our spinach. See how the spinach cooks right down? Guys, I'm going to take out my garlic here, and let's go into here. I got one here. My spinach is done, so I want to take this out, put it on a plate, let it cool just for a few minutes before I add it to my cheese egg mixture. Shut the heat off. Now keep the pan right where it is. Now what I do right away is I just start to drain it a little bit because I want as much of that sauce back in my pan. More will come out as it cools for a few minutes. While the plate is still warm with no heat, I don't have the heat on, I'm going to take my last two tablespoons of butter. Now I'm going to take three leaves of sage. Just through the warmth of the pan, you're going to see the butter still melt. So we're just going to stir it up a little bit, get that sage coated with our butter. A few minutes have gone by, I just want to drain a little bit more of that sauce out of my spinach. Now guys, a couple of tips to make these come out, mwah, molto delecio, right? Is I want to strain that spinach two or three times, get as much of the liquid out of that spinach as you can for our sage butter sauce. A couple other things that make this recipe come out just delicious, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, help our share our videos with other people. I'll tell you what, when you guys subscribe to the channel, not only do you get notifications, we got blogging with Boreal, all kinds of things on the farms, new recipes come to your notification box, but it really makes you part of a family. We're growing a, we're growing a cooking and talent with Joe Familia here, and it really means the world to me. Last, make sure you probably already did Olive oil is coming across the country. I can hear it being shipped to your house right now. Now, before I add my spinach, I've already drained it. Just take a knife and go through it a couple of times. Just to be safe, you don't want a huge hunk of spinach in your nudie, your naked ravioli. I like saying that. Now go ahead and just add your spinach. Just rake through it a little bit. Now we want to sprinkle. Just make sure when we add our flour here in a minute, we don't add it now because we don't want the flour to clump up and get stuck inside the spinach. So do it in the order in which I'm sharing with you to make sure everything comes out great. Just going to add half of my flour and then I'm going to put it in a strainer and then just slowly give it a little snow, like a snow globe here. Slowly incorporate it. That way I don't get any clumps of flour and you'll dry it out. Now sometimes depending on your mixture, this is where a little experience comes in. You may need all the flour and actually have to grab some more flour. It just depends on how wet your ricotta cheese is and how wet your spinach is. We're looking for this to get drier, tighter, something that you can roll into a ball. I'm going to let it set for about five minutes, let the flour do its job. Now it's been about 10 minutes, guys, and look at this. It's just beautiful. So what I want to show you is it's just, it's starting to hold shape. So if I hold it on a spoon, you see how it starts to hang out there? It's not going to be dry like a dough, but it's going to actually start to hold some shape. It's exactly what I want. Now we're going to start making some nudies. My ricotta cheese spinach mixture is good to go. I've got a plate with about two and a half tablespoons of flour that I'm going to dredge my nudies in 
right after I make them. Now I like to use a little small ice cream scoop. This will actually give us the size. So I'll show you how to do that. I wanna make sure my water's boiling and salted just like you would a pasta water. On my butter and sage sauce, I wanna put the heat on as low as I possibly can just to loosen up the butter a little bit so that I can put my nudies in when they're done and then we'll plate them. Guys, so real easy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a scoop, go overflow just a little bit. I'm gonna scoop it right in my flour. I'm gonna take some of the flour, sprinkle the top with it just a little bit, and then just get the extra flour off, roll it. There you go, absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna put it right on a plate. My water is salted, so I'm gonna go ahead and just gently put them in. Don't mix them, don't stir them. Now what I wanna do is I wanna put them in there and I wanna go three minutes, and usually about three minutes in, they're gonna float, and then I let them cook for another three minutes. So you're gonna go about six minutes to eight minutes in the water because you wanna make sure the cheese is cooked and you wanna make sure that your egg has had a chance to cook and you want it to be solid and cooked all the way through. So I've got one in there and it's been six minutes. See how perfect that is? See how nice and firm it is? You pull them out too soon and they're not cooked all the way. If you overcook them, they'll break apart. So that's absolutely perfect, just like pasta. Now I'm gonna bring it right over to my sage and I'm right on the last bit of it and just do a nice gentle, nice little gentle toss in the sage and now I'm gonna plate it. Now let's finish it up. I'm gonna take a little Vito Joe's olive oil. I'm gonna drizzle it right over the top. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of my Parmesan Reggiano and sprinkle it over the top. I know, it's freaking awesome. Ooh, welcome to Tuscany, guys. The aroma in the kitchen, yes, it smells like Tuscany. Not exactly like Tuscany. I'd rather be in Tuscany, but it's close. It's close, all right, so let's go ahead and plate one of these guys. See how nice and firm it is? And it's still pretty warm. So you got three minutes in, three minutes till it floats, three minutes after it floats. And then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that open. And you can eat it one bite at a time, but, oh, my mouth is water, I'm not gonna lie to you. Look at that, see how the spinach is all the way through? Just perfect. So you can pop one in your mouth, the whole size. I like to break it up into a few bites here. Wash it down with a little Prosecco. Oh, that's good. All right, here you go, you ready? You ready for that right there? I wish I could do it for you guys. Oh, the aroma. All right, time to get naked. Mm. Mm. The olive oil and the cheese, first thing I hit you. Mm. The garlic, the spinach, the ricotta, and the flavor of that spinach. It's so gentle, it's so delicate. The texture is perfect, perfect dumpling. You got the salt, the pepper, and you get that butter. You know that butter adds that silkiness to it. And you get just a hint of the sage, and just ever so, ever so gently it tastes with the nutmeg. Yeah, I ate it all, that was one. Trust me, a couple of those other nudies, they got my name out of it, there's no doubt about it. Those puppies are good. Guys, thanks so much for joining me in my kitchen today. What a great recipe and taking a trip to Tuscany with me. And remember, hit that subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, hit that notification bell, become part of the familia here at Cooking Italian with Joe. Be sure to visit us on Facebook or Instagram or on my website, Click buy it now, grab yourself a few bottles of Vito and Joe's Extra Virgin Italian Olive Oil. And guys, last and most importantly, don't forget, get around the table once a month, a couple times a month with your family, and I'll tell you what, you're gonna celebrate your heritage, whatever that may be, and more important than that, set some traditions for you and your family. They're gonna bring you closer, they're gonna create more love, and they're gonna last you a lifetime. I know they did for me. Hey guys, from my kitchen to yours, until next week, mwah, bon appetito. Thank you.